If you're someone who just plops down your music below your voiceover or dialogue and you lower it a bit and then call it a day, then this video is gonna help you step up your audio game a ton. Here is before the technique is applied. It is that special sauce that camera manufacturers concoct. And here is after. It is that special sauce that camera manufacturers concoct. The music was still at a loud volume in a way, but it fit around my voice nicely so that it didn't drown out anything that I said. Here's how you can do that. With your music selected, head into your effects browser and search channel EQ. Then just double click to apply. And also drag this effect onto your dialogue or voiceover. Open your inspector window and press this icon here. And do the same with your dialogue. Once you have both of the windows open, you can hit play and then hit analyzer on both so you can see both of the waveforms. Then pause your footage again. This slope is showing the frequencies of your music and this weird mountain range shows the frequencies of your voice. The point of all of this is to cut out the frequencies in your music that are fighting your voice. So in more simple terms, you're basically just gonna dig holes in your music so your voice can sit comfortably in those holes. If we look at this weird mountain range, my voice sits pretty loud in this low frequency region. So we'll go to our music, take one of these bell curves, doesn't matter which one, I'll go with the yellow, drag it to that range, and lower that frequency range in the music by pulling down. You're basically lowering the volume of that specific frequency range. Pretty simple, right? I'll even make this more narrow so that the change is only happening to that specific range. We don't want all of the music sounding dim. We'll grab another bell curve and I'll decrease the frequencies around the 1000 to 2000 hertz range since my voice also sits in that range a bit. And maybe I'll add one last one and lower it around the 5000 hertz region to let the high frequencies in my voice sit better in the music. And listen to this massive difference these small adjustments make. A secret formulas that is used to make their hamburgers taste a certain way. So basically, and you're just adjusting the channel EQ that you put on your music. The one on your dialogue is just so you can see where your voice sits. Then you can just close out of the windows, make sure your music is selected, and hit save effects preset. Type in music with channel EQ or music with voice or something and hit save. Then in your next video, just go into your effects, head down to audio, go to custom or whatever folder you save that preset in, and double click to apply that preset on the music. Easy work. Something else that I'll do to help my music sit better with my dialogue is do what's called audio boosting or audio pumping. I'll go to the big gaps in between my dialogue, hold down the R key to temporarily bring up the range tool, select that gap, and then you can make a more gradual volume raise by holding command and raising the volume bar up or you can tap control plus a few times to raise a few decibels. Then if you really want, you can adjust the keyframes so it's not such a harsh increase in volume. But I've found that the quick jump in music volume doesn't matter so much if it happens pretty much right when you stop talking and right when you start talking again. But if you decide audio boosting doesn't sound good, just use the range tool to select all the keyframes, control right click, and hit delete keyframes. To learn how to make a voice sound significantly better in Final Cut Pro, check out this video right here and have a great rest of your day, guys.